Okay, welcome back to Nana and Little Mama's cooking show. So, um, my special guest is Nana. She wanted to be in the video today. Um, we already preheated our oven to 375. Today we'll, we, we will be making banana muffins off of Pinterest by Live Well, Bake Often. But first, there's one thing I want to show you. Me and my Nana got our nails done today and I wanted to show you that. So these are mine and those are hers. Okay, so now we're gonna add all of our dry ingredients to a bowl. First things first, we're gonna do one cup, one and a half cups of flour. And it's all white purpose flour. We need our knife. She's kind of off camera because since I'm in it, I'm not videoing this time. So <laughs> that's why you can't see her mixing over here. And I'm making a mess, so. And that's okay. That's how you're supposed to bake. Okay, there. So one cup and one half. Oops. Okay, so now that we have that, it should look like about this much flour. So now we're gonna come over for baking soda. We need one teaspoon, mm -hmm. which I want you to do that. Okay. And you can see what I'm doing here. Cause Taking she- it off to be straight. And she's a little taller so you can see what she's doing. Well, me, I'm a little shorter, so. Well, that's not working real well for me. Can I use your knife, little Missy? You can totally use my knife. There we go. So here we go. Shoot. Perfect with a knife. Okay. okay. So we need ground cinnamon. And for ground cinnamon, you only want to use one half of a taste teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Not a tablespoon. That'd be a lot of ground cinnamon. Okay, so it should look like that and I'm just gonna dump it in. Nana, you get to do the salt. We were gonna do unsalted butter, which it called for, but we don't have it. So we're gonna add just a little bit of salt instead of what it called for. Now we're gonna mix all that with our wick syrup. Okay, so we're pretty much just going in and mixing it like a normal wick and yeah. Okay. Does that look good? Looks real good. How about we come back in a minute with the wet ingredients? Yes, we'll be back for the wet ingredients. So welcome back. We're gonna do our wet ingredients. So the thing calls for um, unsalted butter, six table tablespoons of it, but we didn't have that. So we did a stick and then we cut it into six tablespoons. We melted it um, for 15 degrees. 15 seconds. 15 seconds, mm -hmm. sorry, not degrees. And we're just gonna dump that in, make sure we get all that butter. And then, okay, so now that we got most of the butter, um, Nana over here is gonna do, which one do you want? Vanilla? Do? Let me do the vanilla? Yeah, Nana's okay. gonna do the vanilla. And we're gonna do a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. And to tell you the truth, I always like a little extra vanilla. Y'all don't have to do it if you don't want to. But, but I'm putting in about a quarter more. Because just so we have more. <laughs> just like the flavor can pop up. So now what we're gonna do is it says one large egg. We're gonna crack it into our bowl. Um, make sure no eggs are in there and then throw the eggshell away. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring y'all over here just so y'all can see it. So this is what it should look like. There's no eggshells. 
That was a close up of my face. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna dump that in. And Nana, you're doing the brown sugar. Okay. And the brown sugar, we need a half cup? No, two thirds of two a cup. Two thirds cup. And you have to pack it. Yes, you have to pack it. That's an important thing about brown sugar. So it's packing. What I'm doing, I'm using it in my sack. And I'm just pushing against the sack into my bowl, into my uh, measuring cup so that it's not making a mess. Make sure it's flat. Y'all are in. probably wondering. It should come out like that. Yeah. Y'all are probably wondering why there's a full bag of brown sugar and a Ziploc. We do that so brown sugar can make a mess and stay for a while. So it's easier to put it in a Ziploc bag because when you're done, you could just zip it up and put it back. So that's why it's in a um, thing. And that's how it should pop. Okay, so what we need is, we need bananas, of course. It calls for a cup and a half, a cup and a half of squished ba uh, bananas. Mashed. A mashed banana. So we're going to mix that in a minute while we do this. So and we're going to mash it with a mashed potato masher. Yes. So we're going to get, so we're going to take, our bananas are really big. Yeah, they're really big, if you can tell. So we're going to see how much is in one and go from there. Yeah. Okay. okay. We're just going to peel the banana. Yes, I do. Ours isn't as ripe as I was hoping, so they're a little harder to peel. But it's okay because you can use whatever. And we like to take off the end of it. So now we're just going to smash it. It should look like that while you're smashing it. It'll start getting a little bit juicier as you smash it. Kind of clean it off there if you mm -hmm. want. So it is getting easier to smash. The first bash part is kind of hard because it, it does get more. But now we're gonna fill up this thing to see how much it calls for. A cup. We're gonna fill it up calls for cup. a cup. And a half. And a half. But we're gonna see how much it can equal for one. We're banana. gonna see how much our mashed banana Call. fills up right now. So this is what the mashed potato thing is. That huge banana was maybe two thirds of a cup. So we're just gonna do one more. And see, at least, see, at least. <laughs> we might have to use more if needed. I'm gonna try it. Okay, I squirted it in my eye, but it's okay. <laughs> this one was easier. And we just take off the little end right here. It has a little black spot that's hard there. All right, so now we're just gonna put it in there and mash. At first it is hard, but when you go on, it's easier and easier. Here, Nana, you do this. You want me to do this one? Yes. Okay. So since we have two people, we're gonna take turns doing it. So we each get a chance of doing something. Okay. That's mashed now. Let's see how much more that that puts in our container cup. thingy. Let's see here. <laughs> Okay, we're right out of cup now, and now we need a half cup, so let's see how much of a half cup we're filling up here. Okay. Right. So we're, we're we probably really need close. to cut about a third of a banana off. Okay, so here we go. Let's do about that much and see how much mashed we get out of that. Show them how much we're doing. Okay, so we're doing about this much it was, with this big banana. It was two. So, huge bananas made a cup and maybe a quarter. So we're trying to get a quarter more. The only reason we're like being careful is because we just got nails and we don't want them to break. <laughs> okay, so let's get the smash. Okay. Okay. There we go. Let's see what we got 
just a tiny bit more okay maybe about another inch and a half of that banana it's like about here okay yep let's try that so about this much and I'm just gonna slice this open it is a butter knife it won't hurt you I promise I'm being safe okay so now we're just gonna Mm -hmm. Now I think that's going to be perfect. Okay, so we think this is going to be about how yes. much? Okay, yes. so now we're just going to plop in the half cup into our butter wet ingredients you want to make sure you get all that banana in there just so it will you have enough banana for your thing so this ingredient called this thing makes 12 um, muffins so now that we have that banana what we have to do is got to be off camera yes. because we have to use the mixer and we don't have it facing that direction. So it said to do this and then what? And then barely mix, barely it, with the mix mixer. it with the mixer just so it doesn't get over mixed. If it does, that's not good. Right. Because we're going to keep adding our dry ingredients into this mixture like normal, like we do all the time, but it can't get over mixed or it, won't it be will ruin it. Fluffy, yeah. And it won't be fluffy. So we're just gonna add this in and we'll be back. Okay, so we mix this per probably for like 45 seconds just so it can get ready. But don't worry because you think our area is clean. Well, look, it is clean, but that's just because we clean in between every step just so it's not messy when we're done. So, you wanna take your thing and you just wanna go underneath all of it and like scoop it and flop it. Make sure just it's all mixed. Make sure it's all mixed. And now, we each are going to spray our muffin pans with Pam. And we're using old muffin tins that our grandmothers had. Or my grandmother. My mother, your grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> Can I teach you a trick? Yes. Yeah. You want to get those little sides. So even though it's kind of messy, go around that way. Okay? I'm going to let you do this next one. Hey, so she just taught me a trick. So what you want to do is you're going to take it and you're just going to go around the sides. It might be messy. It doesn't stick though. You can hold a little bit further away from the pan. <laughs> That's so strong. Don't put it by your mouth. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we're all done with putting the pan in our pans. Yeah. And we're going to try not to make as big of a mess with putting them in there because muffin um, batter is a little bit wet. So what we want to do is grab a spoonful and then put it into... The muffin pan. We're going to grab a spoonful of each and see how far that goes and then we'll add more if we have more left. But sometimes you end up with a lot of it in between your muffin tins and that part tends to burn. Yeah. So we're trying not to make the biggest mess. If we do make a mess we'll clean it up like normal but Okay, so 
So we'll be back when it's finished. And so, we're ready to put it in the oven. And we're ready to put it in the oven. So, so I took over as the cameraman because I want to show y'all how even these muffins look like. And um, we have to let them sit in the oven for 30 minutes and they should be done. I'm sorry it's a little rocky. I'm not that stable in hands. And while my Nana puts the muffins in the oven, I'm going to show you. Okay. So this is what the muffins look like. Now I'm going to show you putting them in the oven. And she does have her oven mitts on. So remember 375, high bake, 30 minutes. We'll talk to you later when they're ready. Bye. Okay, so now they're ready. Now we're going to show you how to test them. All right. So you take a toothpick and you stick it in there. It comes out clean. They're ready. Okay. So these are ready. So we're gonna take them over here, set them on here to cool. And look at those yummy things. Once they cool, they'll pop out of the muffin tins. That's so that's what they look like. So we'll be back for me and Nana to eat one. So we'll see you later. Peace. So we're gonna show you how to put them out. So she basically just flips them. They should come out perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna try it because they're ready now. Those are really good. I definitely recommend this is the end of the video. So, bye. Bye.